History TV's popular reality TV show, Mountain Men, revolves around men who live in the mountains, away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Since its premiere in 2012, the series has been documenting how the cast learns survival skills to navigate the dangers of the wild. So what happened to some of the most popular mountain men who have left a strong impression on viewers? We've got all the scoop for you. Known as the Lion Hunter for his impressive big cat tracking skills, Rich Lewis appeared in more than 80 episodes throughout his stint. Fans loved his big personality as he lived his life off the grid in the frigid wilds of Montana. His outgoing personality and no-nonsense approach to life propelled him to reality TV stardom. Contrary to rumors, Rich was not dismissed. He stated that he was getting far too old for his lifestyle and decided to call it quits as he no longer desired to film. These days, Rich lives in Sheridan, Montana with his wife Diane, enjoying their retired lives together. Morgan Beasley's adventurous lifestyle deep within the Alaskan bush was featured in 78 episodes from 2015 for four years. After that, he and his co-star and partner, Margaret Stern, settled down to live a cozy life in Alaska. Morgan, who has a lot of experience in the field of construction and fishing, runs his business venture, Apricity Alaska, alongside Margaret, providing customers with adventurous tours across the remote Alaskan wilderness. Morgan shares pictures and videos from his adventurous hike on his YouTube channel, giving fans a sneak peek into his day-to-day -day life. He's also an airplane enthusiast and pilot and has captured many of his flights across the Alaskan bush through his videos. With his expert blade making and love for his family, Jason Hawk quickly became a fan favorite on the show. Sadly, his cancer diagnosis at age 45 in late 2020 made it seemingly impossible for him to continue to be a part of Mountain Men. According to his family, the doctors had recommended six weeks of intensive chemotherapy and radiation five days a week, followed by stronger chemotherapy for four to five months. His family's last update in January 2021 shared that he was improving after his first week of chemo. Thanks to their insightful and dynamic moments, Kyle Bell and his son, Ben, were considered the most relatable and wholesome duo on the show. Viewers witnessed Kyle train his son, who at the time was 10 years old, how to survive on the land. Unfortunately, they quietly exited after just two seasons. The New Mexican native later started a blog documenting his journey on survival sense that taught people basic skills to use out in the wilderness, but it has been dormant since 2016. Kyle runs Flossom Outfitters with his wife, Live On, that provides hunting experience on their private land in Cimarron Valley in northeastern New Mexico. A published author, botanist, baker, and farmer, Margaret Stern is a woman of many talents, but it was her wilderness survival expertise that got her a shot on the mountain men. She initially joined her beau, Morgan, to help with horse care, but she quickly realized that the untamed setting was more suited to her abilities. Margaret and Morgan have been living in their homestead ever since they quit. Before entering the show, Charlie Tucker was a licensed logger and trapper for almost 25 years, working at the Great North Woods in the forest of northern Maine. Charlie, who starred in a total of 33 episodes after joining in 2013, decided to leave as he was starting a new business as a private leaseholder in the recreational part of the Maine woods. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.